News 8's LaMonica Peters spoke to two local electors about what it's like to take part in this historic process. Two of California's electors say they're doing this for the first time, and after a contentious presidential election, they say they're just ready to help the country move forward. California will send 55 electoral voters to Sacramento on December 14th, and one of them is 22-year-old political consultant Kevin Sabellico from Carlsbad. Now we know uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris received 306 electoral votes, uh, the exact same amount of electoral votes that Donald Trump received in 2016, and, you know, it, it now we just have to put our rubber stamp on it and make it official. Democrats allow their congressional members to choose electors. Sabellico says after working with Congressman Mike Levin's campaign, he asked him last year if he could be one of California's electors. Now Sabellico is preparing to cast his vote. I think it would be a real honor to uh, serve in this constitutional role and fulfill my solemn duty to make Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, the president elect, or the president and the vice president. The 2020 presidential election will be one for the history books. Millions of people voting by mail, accusations of voter fraud, and multiple state recounts. But Kamala Harris, elected as the first woman in person of color as vice president, holds a special meaning for another California elector and San Diego attorney Janice Brown. I see all these little black girls with little t-shirts that say, the vice president looks like me. And I think, oh my goodness, what that has changed for their world. Brown says she's met Biden and worked with Harris before. She says she's honored to cast a vote for them, and now she hopes her vote will help the country heal. I'm reading the Obama's new book, and it makes me remember how he said we're not red America or blue America. We are the United States of America, and I think we've forgotten that. In California, electors have to be present to vote, so they're both taking the necessary precautions to travel safely to Sacramento. LaMonica Peters, News 8.